Hey what's going on guys, Turty Wurty here and welcome back to another Minecraft modding tutorial for version 1.15 or 1.14. In this tutorial we are going to be going over how to update your mappings. Now first I'm going to cover what are mappings and why you should update them. So let's get started. So mappings are um, basically the code that Minecraft uses um, if you go into reference libraries and we just go into uh, the top one if we go net minecraft and say we just look at I don't know, abstract coral plant block we can see these fields here <coughs> <coughs> so that there are mappings for fields and functions so here is a field, this is a property, I think they, they call them, and somewhere down here this should probably be a function, yeah there you go, a function. I think there's a few more, but basically these are um, the code and obviously a lot of it actually hasn't been uh, worked through yet, so they don't know what a lot of things are called. So basically that's what mappings are for. They map it out and uh, basically change it and rename what it's called. So this is all done by uh, MCP. So if I just show you this website. Okay, so here we go. We're on MCP bot. MCP stands for um, Minecraft Coder. Um, Minecraft Coder Pack. It used to be Forge, basically, it used to be Forge before Forge came out. But now it's basically just for mappings. So they there is generally a daily mapping. Um, and if you go on here, you can see what they are. Oh yeah, parameters, not um, property. Stupid me. So if you uh, go on these, these are the fields, the methods, and the parameters. Uh, compiled and no, uh, not compiled, mapped and unmapped, and you can see which one's which. So as you can see, the last one came out seven minutes and ten seconds ago, and that will be this one. We're going to want the latest one because we want the up, most up-to-date stuff. And in order to do that, we're going to need to change a file. So if we go back into Eclipse and you should see your build.gradle now if you open this you'll see a load of stuff and you don't need to worry about most of this in fact you shouldn't touch most of this but you should see right here in minecraft the mappings channel and you're probably always going to want snapshots so just leave that but this is the version so as you can see this is the 1.14.3 mappings so they are quite um, they're quite out of date so if we go back to this website we can see the latest one is um, 202.00208 uh, 1.15.1 so if we just grab this and go back into Eclipse and we replace this version number with that and just give this file a save then what we can do is uh, rerun our setup task so if you just want to navigate a folder, so if you just locate to here, and we go into command prompt, we're going to want to go to this directory. So just type cd and then the path, that will take you there. And we're going to want to run the gradlu commands again. So I'm just going to close Eclipse. I think that's kind of the best way to do this because uh, it means you don't have to restart afterwards. So, what you can go ahead and do is run Gradlu Gen Eclipse Runs. Or if you're using uh, IntelliJ, you can do Gen IntelliJ Runs. But because I'm using Eclipse, I'm going to want to do Gradlu Gen Eclipse Runs. So if you just run that, we're just going to let that run 
and basically it's going to um, decompile and recompile and basically redo all of the setup stuff but it's not going to wipe your code so don't worry none, none of your code or assets or anything in your run folder none of that's going to go it's just going to add new stuff it's going to fix the old stuff and uh, add some new stuff so if you just let this run it could be a while um, but I will see you guys when this is done okay so now that has done um, just so you know, if you didn't get a build success, um, then you can come into my Discord server. I'll just bring that up right now. Here we go. If you come into my Discord server, um, just by joining the link, uh, this link right here, which is always in the description, don't worry. But um, if you join my Discord server, you can come down here and go to, let's say, help support 1. Or if that's being taken, you can go to help support 2, or 3, or 4. And these are specialised ones, so you don't want to touch that. But if you just come in here and you do the free grave keys, and then MD, and then you go into here, you copy everything from here and you just paste that there it might say this if it says that you want to come out of that and go to something like um, not that pastebin.com no not dot go we don't want to go there you can just go to pastebin.com paste that in there create new paste copy the link and paste the link in there and uh, say uh, your setup failed and then I might ask you a few questions and hopefully then we should get that sorted and get, get a build success if it's build failed that's not good um, so your mod isn't going to work if it's build failed so now I've just got that over and done with send this back goodbye <laughs> Okay, and then we can run Gradlu Eclipse, so that's just to uh, reset up Eclipse. So, Gradlu Eclipse, and you can also do dash dash clean, no, no, don't do that. Just don't do that, yeah. And just run Gradlu Eclipse, and it's just going to run this through, and it's going to do a load of stuff. So I'll see you guys once it's done that. Okay, so that is finally done, and that took forever. I didn't think that was going to... It seemed to get stuck on uh, resolving dependencies of the runtime class path. I don't know why, but it, it took forever on that. But you can see, as it says here, um, it has a new dep. Do I know what dep is? I don't think I do. But yeah, um, so you can now close command prompt, and we can reload up. Eclipse or IntelliJ, whatever you're using. So uh, let's just let this load. Uh, I'll see you guys once Eclipse is loaded because this could take a while. Well, never mind. Um, so if we now go into here, I don't know what's changed. Hopefully, something's changed. I can show you has changed. But just trust me. Uh, it definitely has updated because I mean you can see right there it says map but um, hopefully I can show you some things that are in that class that changed what was, was this class wasn't it I think abstract coral plant block let's see uh, it doesn't look like anything's changed oh wait no it has there was a function no nothing's changed <laughs> oh dear no, something has changed. Something here. There was a function. There was definitely a function. So yeah, it has changed. For sure. Um, so yeah, that will just update a few of those fields. Obviously not all of them. Um, I actually don't know why it takes them so long to map it all out. I don't think it would take that long. Um, I think they should just do the more important classes first you know but whatever um they have them so yeah um if you guys did enjoy this very simple tutorial please do be sure to smash your face in that like button just smash it don't smash your screen just smash the button the button should be gone
after that. And then uh, subscribe. And I will see you guys in the next video. Which is either, I can tell you this one, it is either events, tags, armor, or uh, GitHub repos. So, I can tell you that. Uh, probably events, if I had to uh, give an answer. So yeah, I will see you guys then. Goodbye.